a massive outbreak here at Palisades Medical Center, where at least 40 employees have tested positive for COVID. Meanwhile, here at Newark International Airport, it's business as usual. Flights are coming in from the UK, they're going out to the UK, and there's really no indication that the US has any plans to follow suit and ban flights from the UK at any point in the near future. Despite earlier reports of a 10 day lockdown in the city of Newark starting the night before Thanksgiving, Mayor Baraka's office now confirming that a lockdown has not been issued yet. President Trump and the First Lady testing positive for the coronavirus the same day they arrived right here in Bedminster for a campaign fundraiser. Governor Murphy urging everyone who attended the event to take full precautions. And after eight firefighters testing positive for the virus, another 22 sent into quarantine. Now the department usually operates with 24 firefighters on a 24 hour shift. They're now down to 18 firefighters, which is the minimum requirement. A new bill that passed in both the New Jersey Senate and the Assembly would require that all uniformed patrol officers across the state wear a body cam while on duty. This is an animatronic megalodon at 55 feet long. This is the actual size of a megalodon, which at one point in time was the largest predator in the ocean. Now the Hoboken SantaCon Facebook event page for their part has canceled the event, but let's be honest, there are no real laws preventing someone from dressing up as Santa and going to the bars. Four teachers here at Dumont High School have been suspended for having a homophobic conversation about another teacher on a Zoom call with students. Let's give Lisa a round of applause. And just like that, Dr. Lisa Tank, chief medical officer at Hackensack Meridian Health, is vaccinated. Today is my way of paying it forward to ensure immunity and safety for our community for my peers and all the loved ones that you have back home. She's one of 170 healthcare heroes at Hackensack Meridian Health to be vaccinated on Tuesday. Uh, they monitor us for about 15 minutes. Um, we have instructions of, of what to look for. And so was Director of Respiratory Services, Raina Baroa, and Patricia Gardner, an emergency room nurse who helped open the hospital's first COVID ICU. As an ER trauma nurse, I've seen the worst of the worst, but nothing like that. They're both hoping to spread this message. You know, we, we should all get vaccinated so we can all go back to our normal lives. It's here, it's real, it's safe, I can take it. 26,000 employees here at Hackensack Meridian are expected to be vaccinated in the next four weeks. The state hoping to vaccinate 70% of the population within the next six months. At this rate, we will have herd immunity in the darkest days of this pandemic will be behind us. In Hackensack, Emily Young, New Jersey News Network.